up. I'm not denying. But one more minute of her bloody Los Angeles holiday. It would be so wonderful. Why didn't she stay there? There's a man living in our shed. What? <laughs> Just walked in here as many as you could please and filled up a bottle of orange squash. Unless you want to tell him. How can I go down there? I got a gargle fork in the ribs if he turns nasty. I suppose not. Right. A garden fork in the ribs? <laughs> Just tell him to leave. More or less. How are you getting on? Oh, still lurching from one crisis to the next. We've got lunch tomorrow with Patrick's new boss, which is a bit hair-raising. So we don't even know if she's going to keep him on yet. I haven't been with the firm five minutes. No, at her place, up Ravens Hill, which makes it even more of an ordeal. I know. Anyway, I just wanted to check we're still on for Thursday night. <laughs> well, at any time you like. Uh, about 7.30 and eat at 8. Just when I thought we'd move to a mildew-free zone. That's great then, Margaret. Look forward to it. Yes. See you then, Pippa. Bye. I'm taking him some biscuits. <laughs> Your pot? He says he hasn't eaten for three days since they turfed him out of his cardboard box under the railway bridge. What am I supposed to do? Poor bloke's got nowhere. Be dark soon. I said he could stay there at least until the morning. Stay there till the morning. He's not having my boasters. <laughs> tomorrow he's out. Now make sure he understands or I'm calling the police. 